Well, good morning, Hope family and anybody listening. We just want to welcome you. And thank you for taking the time to just listen to this little clip. It's just uh, as we do every Wednesday morning, just a little food for thought. And I pray it would be a blessing to you. It would help you and just give you that little extra uh, boost that you may need or may need, you know, in the middle of the week and etc. And we try and cover different subjects, different topics, you know, trying to hear what the Holy Spirit is saying. And, and I uh, was uh, just asking the Lord last night, what would you like me to share on? And I really felt quite strongly on my heart. One of the questions that many people ask, and I'm sure I've asked it and you've asked it many times, is does God hear my prayer? God, don't you hear my prayer? God, are you listening to me? And uh, I think that's quite common with all of us. And uh, I was just reading this passage of scripture in John chapter 11, in one of the most uh, most well-known uh, portions of scripture where Jesus raises his best friend back to life again. And I just noticed, and my eyes just focused upon these verses. I'll, I'm just going to read them for you. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead man was lying. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and he said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. And I know that you always hear me. Don't you like that? But because of the people who are standing by, I said this, that they may believe that you sent me. Now, when he had said these things, he cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he, had, uh, and he who had died came out, bound hand and foot with the grave clothes. And his face was wrapped with a cloth. And Jesus said to them, loosen him and let him go. Fact is, Jesus says, I thank you, Father, that you've heard me and that you always hear me. And the Holy Spirit just dropped that into my heart. You know, God always hears our prayers. They're not just words that are just released out into the air and, and who knows who and who knows what. In fact, the two crucial moments of our questioning or that the devil would want to come and, and just attack our mind is when we pray, before we pray, oh, will the Lord hear this prayer? After we prayed, we walk away. Oh, has the Lord heard my prayer? Will he answer my prayer? Well, they're two different things, you see, because the Lord always hears our prayers. And in fact, I'm quite, uh, I was quite blessed to read even Daniel in Daniel 10, uh, that he was praying to God and fasting for three weeks, 21 days. And first day, second day, third day, nothing, 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 nothing. And he's praying and he's fasting and he's going, God, why don't you answer me? Something we always do. And on the very last day, God sent an angel and said, hey, your prayer was heard from the very first time that you lifted it to me. God hears us the first time. Now, why doesn't God answer all the time? Well, that's a completely different thing because, well, I don't know many reasons. The Lord is sovereign. And so it needs to fit in with the sovereignty of God, with the will of God, with the purposes of God. It needs to fit in with the time factor of God. It needs to fit in with the fact that God wants our best, not necessarily just answered according to our understanding. He always has, has our best at heart. You know that and I know that. And so therefore all these factors factor in. But the fact is, he's heard your prayer. He's working out which way is the best way and when is the time and how and how it will impact. You see, in this particular time, I'm sure that um, Lazarus' sister was praying and his friends were praying and he still died. And he still took, you know, four days before anything was even heard or done. I've heard of people that have prayed a whole lifetime, never saw the answer. But because of that prayer in the previous, or in the next, sorry, generation, people that have prayed for their kids all their life never saw an answer. But in the next generation, that prayer came into fruition. It brought forth the fruit of what it was meant to be. That if it had been answered at that particular time when they wanted it, when I wanted it, it was out of time and it would not have brought glory to God and done and fulfilled the purposes for which it was meant to do. You see, God heard the prayer from the very first time. 
but he waited until the time in order that he had a crowd, he had a multitude, and that demonstrated the authority of Christ, the Messiah who now performs his miracle, who now demonstrates the power of God, and therefore strengthens the faith of all these people, all these, you know, Half believers, easy, easy, not all of a sudden. Hey, couldn't get more than that, could you? Four days in the grave, he's dead, he's gone, and he's called forth back to life again. That's pretty powerful because he fitted in. And Jesus says, I thank you that you'll always hear my prayer. In fact, you've heard it from the very first time. And I want to assure you this very morning that the prayer that you have prayed, that maybe has not been answered yet, and you're wondering, has God heard my prayer? Yes, he has. Will God answer my prayer according to his will, to his purposes, to your best and my best, to the eternal purposes of God? Well, that is to be worked out. But let me assure you, God has heard your prayer, has your best interest at heart, and will work things out that will bring glory and honor to his name and will work out for your best and my best. So be encouraged this morning. God bless you. Have a wonderful rest of the week.